In this video, I will introduce Loopring, a very unique decentralized exchange that has its own blockchain. Its trading volume is growing fast and its token gained more than 800% in 2021. If you are new here, I'm Julian and at Indoblox, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. When Loopring was created in 2017, the goal was to create a decentralized exchange capable of processing a lot of transactions. One of the most promising scaling solutions for Ethereum is zero-knowledge rollups. Think of it like a highway above Ethereum main network that bundles many transactions together and commits them to Ethereum. The biggest limitation of zero-knowledge rollup is that it's really difficult to create a zero-knowledge rollup chain capable of running any kind of smart contracts. That's why Loopring created a specialized zero-knowledge rollup chain only capable of running the decentralized exchange of Loopring. It means that technically Loopring is both an L2 scaling solution powered by zero-knowledge rollups and an application deployed on this chain. Thanks to this architecture, transactions on Loopring cost only 15 cents, much cheaper than a transaction on Uniswap which can cost more than $100 sometimes. And because Loopring is connected to Ethereum, users also enjoy the security of Ethereum. Loopring, like Uniswap, has an on-chain order book, but it doesn't use the constant product formula of Uniswap. Instead, it has a custom algorithm, which isn't used by any other project. Loopring is also very fast, with transaction speed of up to 1000 times faster than Ethereum, which equals more than 2000 trades per second. And beside the trading of ERC20 tokens, Loopring recently announced it will also support NFT minting, trading, and transfers. LRC is Loopring native ERC20 token and has a market cap of 2 billion. It's used for staking, paying out rewards, network fee, and as a governance token in the Loopring DAO. A portion of the trading fees generated are distributed to LRC holders. As a developer, you can use the Loopring protocol to build your own decentralized exchange, payment apps, and NFT marketplaces. The easiest way is to build a custom front-end that connects to the order book of Loopring. And for this, you can use the official JavaScript SDK of Loopring, which supports both HTTP and WebSocket endpoints. So that's it for this introduction to Loopring. As I mentioned before, Loopring uses zero-knowledge rollups. That's one of the scaling solutions for Ethereum, but there are others. And if you want to know the main L2 scaling solutions for Ethereum, next you can watch this other video on my channel. I will see you there.